Hello everyone, welcome to Talents Print and welcome to this live session regarding monthly current affairs for the month of May 2018. So how is your preparation going on guys for the upcoming SBI PO that is probationary officer and clerk as well as SSC CGL exam. So current affairs is very much important as far as whether it is banking exam or any other government exam whether it may be CGL or CHSL. Okay, so for the first time we have come up with the monthly current affairs. So we will be doing the monthly current affairs every first week of the next month. Okay, so now we will be taking up the monthly current affairs of the May 2018. So first of all I will uh, we'll wait for one more minute so that some more people will join. Hi everyone. And take a pen and paper and note down your score so that we will know how much we are in the competition, right? So if you practice daily at least for 30 minutes the current affairs, you can forget the current affairs for the rest of the day, right? So please note down your score too. So shall we move the first question? Remember you have to note down your score and let me know at the last and you have to answer most of the questions, right? So be active in answering the questions. So shall we move to the first question? Yes. So are you ready everyone? So moving on to the first question of the day, the GST collection for the month of April was, so I will be fast in the qu taking up the questions because we have lot of questions. You have to answer the questions in less than 5 seconds everyone. Okay, so what was the GST collection for the month of April was? Is it 1 lakh, 0.95 lakh or 1.25 lakh or 1.15 lakh or 0.85 lakh? Okay, what was the GST collection? The indirect tax collection that is goods and services tax. So most of you say it's 1.03 lakh. Yes, 1.03 lakh is the right answer. If you have wrongly attempted take down it as a negative scoring okay treat it as the original examination and note down your score and be fast in answering the questions because because we have to take lot of questions what is the theme of 15th edition of asia media summit asia media summit recently it was held in new delhi okay so what was the theme of Asia Media Summit 2018? The 15th edition was held in New Delhi. So most of you go with the answer. Option number. Two. Yes, option number two is the right answer. Telling our stories, Asia and more. Okay, this is the right team. 15th Asia Media Summit was held in New Delhi in the month of May. Next, official payment solution tap card was launched by which of the following? Be fast in answering the questions everyone and be active in answering the questions. Official payment solution tap card was launched by what could be the answer? It is, is it Airtel Payments Bank, Aditya Payments Bank, India Post Payments Bank, Paytm Payments Bank or Geo Payments Bank? So what do you say? Offline payment solution tap card was launched by. So most of you say it's option number D that is Paytm Payments Bank. There are mixed answers. So what's the correct answer? Paytm Payments Bank is the right answer. Okay, the first payment bank launched in India is Airtel, Airtel Payments Bank. Okay, clear with this. How much capital I need to start a payments bank in India? 100 crores only. For a normal bank, I need 500 crores to start that bank. For payments bank and small finance bank, the capital is 100 crores. Moving on to next question of the day. Who has won the Barcelona Open title for 2018? Is it Rafael Nadal, Stefanos Tsitsipas, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Andy Murray? I want quick answers from everyone and be active in answering the questions. Who has won the Barcelona Open title 2018?
So most of you say it's Rafal Nadal. Yes. Is it the right answer or any contradicting answer? Shall I fix this? All of you. Yes, Rafael Nadal, now he is the current top number one. He has taken the top place in the tennis ranking. So he has won this Barcelona Open title for men's singles. Okay, moving on to next question. What is India's rank in the latest World's Press Freedom Index? Is it 90, 100, 115, 138, 145? You have five seconds for each question. Don't take more than that. Because you should, you don't have any time to prove anything. This is not maths or reasoning, right? So, World Press Freedom Index is published by Reporters Without Borders. This is the organization. It publishes World Press Freedom Index. So, most of you say 138. Yes, 138 is the right answer. If you have given the wrong answer, note that it down as wrong answer. Okay? Next. The Indian Airlines, which of the Indian Airlines has become the third Indian carrier to join this International Air Transport Association, IATA, along with Air India and Jet Airways. So, which is the third one? Is it Indigo, SpiceJet, Vistara, TrueJet, Go Air? First is Air India, next is Jet Airways, which is the third one? So most of you go with option number 3 that is Vistara. So Vistara is the right answer. Vistara has become the third one to join this International Air Transport Association membership. Okay, the first is Air India, second is Jet Airways and third is Vistara. Next, which city hosted the 23rd meeting of Western Zonal Council in May? Is it Mumbai, Pune, Panaji, Daman, Gandhinagar? You have 5 seconds. Be fast in answering the questions. Participation is very important. We will see who will score more. And we will reward that person who scores more in this session. Okay. We will send you a complimentary gift who will score more and the one who is active in answering the questions. So both. So we will see what is that. Which city hosted 23rd meeting of Western Zonal Council? Most of you go with Gandhinagar. Yes, Gandhinagar is the right answer. Who heads? Zonal Council. Zonal Councils. All Zonal Councils are headed by Union Home Minister. Currently, Rajnath Singh. All Zonal Councils are headed by Union Home Minister. Zonal Councils are established under State Reorganization Act 1956. Okay, they are not constitutional bodies, but they are statutory bodies because they it has an act called State Reorganization Act 1956. Next, Dada Sahib Falke Award 2018 for Best Actor Male was given to. Be fast in answering the questions. Best actor male. So most of you go with Akshay Kumar. Is it the right answer? Yes, Akshay Kumar is the right answer. For male category, Akshay Kumar has won this. For female category, Bhumi Phadnekar has won. The Dada Sahib Award for best actor female. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. State Bank of India has bought, given 2000 crore to which of the following gas utility is it ongc gale iocl or hp or iol state bank of india has lent 2000 crore rupees to which of the following and i remind you please note down your score along with how many you have correct, uh, correctly attempted and how many you have uh, negatively attempted. Treat, treat it like the original examination. So most of you say it's Gale. Yes, Gale is the right answer. Gas Authority of India Limited. It has borrowed 2000 crore rupees from SBI. So very important current affair. 
Moving on to next one. Who has won the 2018 presidential election in Paraguay? Is it John Afra, Horacio Cartes, Mario Abde Benitez, or Efrain Alegre? So most of you say Mario Abdo Benitez. Yes, Mario Abdo Benitez has won the pres he has become the president of Paraguay recently. Moving on to next question of the day: Who was who has chaired the first meeting of National Committee for the commemoration of 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi recently? Ramnath Kovin, Narendra Modi, Sumitra Mahajan, Venkaiah Naidu, Rajnath Singh. Be active everyone in answering the questions. First meeting of National Committee for the commemoration of 150th birth anniversary of our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. So most of you say option number. Some say Narendra Modi, some say Sumitra Mahajan, some say Ramnath Kovind. So President Ramnath Kovind has chaired this meeting. Okay. So 150th birth anniversary on 22nd, on 2nd October 2019. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. What is the maximum investment limit for senior citizens under Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandana Yojana? 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 25 lakhs or none of these. Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandana Yojana is a saving scheme. What is the minimum age limit to join this? So most of you go with some say 10 lakhs, some say 15 lakhs. What could be the right answer? Yes, 15 lakhs. Recently it was changed to 15 lakhs. Earlier it was 7.5 lakhs. The minimum amount for investment is 1.5 lakhs. Maximum is 15 lakhs. What is the minimum age to join Pradhan Mantri Vaya Vandana Yojana? 60 years. Maximum age limit? No limit. Okay, and remember this doesn't come under GST. Very important bit. Vaya Vandana Yojana doesn't come under GST and the whole regulator of this Yojana is LIC, Life Insurance Corporation of India. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. And it is open only for Indian citizens, not for NRIs. Next, India-South Africa Business Summit 2018 was held at Johannesburg, Cape Town, New Delhi, Kolkata, Lucknow. So what could be the right answer for this question? Yes, Johannesburg is the right answer. And 2019 BRICS Summit will also be held at Johannesburg okay soon okay moving on to next question of the day name the world's oldest spider which has died at the ripe age of 43 spider Australia number 13 number 43 number 22 number 16 so what could be the answer the world's oldest known spider recently it belongs to Australia, okay? What could be the right answer? So most of you go with option number. Alexander says number 16. So any contradicting answer, some say number 43. 16 43 so there is there are mixed answers the right answer is number 16 number 16 is the name of that spider which has died at the early age it belongs to australia next who has honored with pc chandra puraskar 2018 lata mangeshkar asha bosle s janaki 
अनुराधा अनुरा पौडवाल और के एस चित्रा सो वॉट कुड बी द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन पी सी चंद्र पुरस्कार बी फास्ट इन आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन द पर्सन हू विल बी एक्टिव विल बी रिवॉर्डेड ओके एंड ऑल्सो हू स्कोर मोर टू रिवॉर्ड्स we'll see who will be getting that so pc chandra puraskar most most of you go with option number it's asha bosle has won this pc chandra puraskar okay and uh, she has also won the swara mauli award moving on to next question of the day who has taken over the principal director general of pib that is press in information bureau so who could it be director general of pib all the government related press related issues are published in pib okay so who could it be press information bureau director general and don't forget to note down your score how many questions you have done right and also wrong so what could be the answer for this question most of you go with option number b shitan shukar yes he was appointed as the director general for press information bureau okay next who has become the longest serving chief minister in the country pawan kumar chamling navin patnaik raman singh and biren singh वसुंधरा राजे सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू से इट्स पवन कुमार चामलिंग ऑप्शन नंबर ये सो इज इट द राइट आंसर शेल आई लॉक इट एवरी वन यस pawan kumar chamling of sikkim has become the longest serving chief minister of the country okay who has been appointed as a new chairman of irdai insurance regulatory development authority of india so what could be the answer chairman of irdai new chairman where is the headquarters of irdai it's in hyderabad okay it looks upon the insurance business it controls both life insurance as well as general insurance so what could be the answer for this question chairman of irdai so most of you go with subhash chandra kuntia yes sc kuntia he has been appointed as the new chairman of i r d a i okay moving on to next question of the day who has been appointed as a new chairman of public account accounts committee pac is it arun jaitli malikarjun karge gulab nabi azad anand kumar sumitra mahajan public accounts committee the very important committee it has 22 members out of which 15 are from lok sabha and seven are from rajya sabha okay so who what is the right answer for this question most of you say it's option number b mallikarjun kharge mallikarjun kharge is the right answer generally opposition leader will be appointed as pac chairman okay moving on to next question of the day which city is hosting the 6th us india aviation summit 2018 hyderabad mumbai new delhi ranchi pune which city is hosting the 6th us india aviation summit 2018 so most of you what do you say let's see who will answer this first us india aviation summit so some say new delhi some say mumbai 
so which answer to be fixed yes mumbai is the right answer the sixth us india aviation summit was held in mumbai not in new delhi it's in mumbai next which state government has launched the country's first smart cities control center up mp rajasthan west bengal karnataka So most of you say it's Madhya Pradesh. Amrita says Madhya Pradesh. Nilab, Shubham, Pillu, Saroj, Ankit, Debashish, Sunjay, Prem, Neeraj, Vaishnavi. So most of you say it's Madhya Pradesh in Bhopal. It was held in Bhopal. This first smart cities control center was launched in Bhopal. Next, IMF has predicted India's growth rate at what finance, what person for the financial year 2018-19? How much did it predict for 2018-19? Where's the headquarters of IMF? It's in Washington DC, right? It has 189 countries. Whoever is a member of IBRD, they will also become the member of World Bank. In order to become the member of World Bank, they have to become the member of IMF. Okay, so how much did it predict for India? So most of you say 7.4, some say 7.3. So the right answer is 7.4 percentage for 2018-19. And World Bank has predicted 7.3. Okay. This question has been asked in last year SBI general awareness examination for that year. Okay. Who has successfully launched AppStar 6C commercial communication satellite? India, Japan, China, Russia, USA. So what could be the right answer for this question? Successfully launched AppStar 6C. So most of you say it's China. Yes, China is the right answer. It is a communication satellite of China, AppStar 6C. Next, 2018 World Robot Conference to be held in which city from August 15 to 19, 2018? World Robot Conference. So what could be the right answer for this question? Who is going to answer this first? So most of you say it's option number three. Some say China of Beijing. Debashi says Beijing of China. Ankit, Pillu, Prakash, Prasad, Balamurlidhar, Vignesh, Shiva. Yes, answer is Beijing of China. It will be held from August 15 to 19, 2018. Who has been elected as the Prime Minister of Armenia recently in May 2018? So who was elected? Prime Minister of Armenia. Don't worry, we'll give the PDF. Somebody was asking PDF. It will be available in the talentsprint.com. If you are a student on talentsprint.com or if you are a free subscriber, you can get that. Okay. And hope you know about our 21 day marathon for SBIPO 2018. Starting from June 8th onwards till June 30th, we have SBIPO 21 day marathon. And we have one All India mock test at 10 centers. And please register for this program and benefit a lot. So what is the answer for this question? Most of you say Nikol Pashyan. Yes, Nikol Pashyan is the right answer. So Armenia's capital is Yerevan. 
okay and its currency is Armenian dram okay so Nikol Pashyan was elected as the Prime Minister of Armenia next who has been sworn as the president of Costa Rica president of Costa Rica so what could be the right answer for this question so most of you say it's Carlos Alvarado Carlos Alvarado is the right answer Costa Rica capital is San Jose and currency is column okay clear with this so we have already seen Nicole Pashian and Mario Abdo Benitez so Mario Abdo Benitez is for Paraguay and Nicole Pashian is for Armenia right and Calres Alvarado is for Costa Rica moving on to next question of the day who has been appointed as a country head for Google Cloud India Radha Krishna Nair Nitin Bhavan Kule Sundar Pichai Banu Pratap Sharma Christian Seving So what could be the right answer for this question? Who is going to answer this first? So most of you say it's Nitin Bhavan Kule. Nitin Bhavan Kule is the right answer. He has been appointed as the country head for India for Google Cloud. Moving on to the next question of the day. What is India's rank in Asia Pacific? power index second third fourth fifth sixth Asia Pacific power index so what could be the right answer for this question So most of you say third, but it is fourth. Asia Pacific Power Index. India was ranked fourth in the world. Who has been appointed as Australia's new ODI captain? That is one day international captain. Tim Payne, Alex Carey, Aaron Finch, Michael Barron, Pat Cummins. Who has been appointed as Australia's new ODI captain? So most of you say option number. Be active in answering the questions, everyone. So most of you say option number one, Tim Payne. So Tim Payne is the right answer. Australia's new ODI captain. Who has appointed as the coach? Earlier it was Darren Lemon, right? So now the coach is Justin Langer for Australia. Okay. The captain is Tim Payne and coach is Justin Langer. Moving on to the next question of the day. Karl Marx's birth bicentenary international conference was to be held in which city in May? Is it Kolkata, New Delhi, Mumbai, Patna, Hyderabad? When you do like this mock test or quiz, you will know how much you are into the competition, right? So practice frequently the current affairs, at least spend 30 minutes a day and you can forget the current affairs rest of the day, okay? So make a habit to practice daily current affairs. Now SBI PU and SBI clerk are nearby, right? Next, what is the answer for this question? Partner of Bihar is the right answer. So Karl Marx bicentenary, he is related to Marxism, right? He belongs to Germany, German philosopher. So his bicentenary was to be celebrated in Partner of Bihar. Name the country that has elected its first new parliament since 2009. Is it Peru, Guatemala, Lebanon, Italy? None of these. So what could be the answer for this question? So 
so most of you say it's Lebanon so Lebanon is the right answer what's the capital of Lebanon it's Beirut and the currency is Lebanonian pound Moving on to next question of the day, which country has topped the South Asian Junior Athletics Championship with 20 medals? Is it Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Singapore, Thailand? So this championship was held in Colombo of Sri Lanka. So which country has topped this sports event with 20 medals? So most of you say it's India. Yes, India is the right answer. India has won 20 medals in this South Asian Junior Athletics Championship. Okay. Next, which city is host to the first Apex Conference of CEOs of Smart Cities? Is it Gandhinagar, Bhopal, Varanasi, Shimla, Indore? First Apex Conference of CEOs of Smart Cities. You have 5 seconds, be fast in answering the questions, treat it like the original test, okay? So the right answer is Bhopal, I have already told you Smart Cities Control Center, just now we have seen Smart Cities Control Center as well as the CEOs of Smart Cities conference was held in Madhya Pradesh only okay remember this you have to relate things whenever you study next star Maha Kale Maha Kumbh a sports initiative has been launched in which state is it Haryana Punjab Kerala Madhya Pradesh Himachal Pradesh star Kale Maha Kumbh it was launched in which state What could be the answer for this question? So most of you say it's Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is the right answer. And Shimla of Himachal Pradesh, it was launched. The government of India has signed a loan deal worth how much rupees with World Bank for the National Nutrition Machine. It is, all, it is also called as Poshan Abhiyan. 200 million dollars or 100, 400 or 500 or 150. Okay, so MOUs are very much important. Whenever you study any current affairs, categorize the current affairs. MOUs, awards, national, international. Okay, so it will be very easy to study. Whenever you study anything, you categorize it and place it in them. Suppose if any important persons have died, they come under obituaries sports awards okay any books like this business or finance you have to categorize the current affairs and study it will be very easy for you so the right answer for this question is 200 million us dollars is the right answer option number one so for nutri national nutrition mission 200 million dollars was taken from world bank who has been chosen to receive the VK Krishna Menon Award in recognition of his contribution to the Indian diaspora? Is it Sundar Pichai, Radhakrishna Nair, Mahendra Chaudhary or none of these or AK Metal? So what could be the answer for this question? Yes, VK Krishna Minan Award was given to Mahendra Chaudhary. He was a former Prime Minister of which country? Fiji. Fiji is the right answer. So he belongs to Indian diaspora. He is an Indian origin person. He was chosen as, he has become the former Prime Minister of the country Fiji. Okay. So for his contribution, VK Krishna Minan Award was given to him. Which city hosted the biannual Naval Commanders Conference recently? Patan Code, New Delhi, Pune, Kochi, Vishakapatna. Let's see who will win this battle. 
May month current affairs. So most of you say it's option number two, New Delhi. New Delhi is the right answer. The Naval Commanders Conference was held in New Delhi. Next, Rajinder Pal, who has passed away recently, was associated with which sport? He belongs to Delhi. And one sport, what is that? Is it tennis, football, cricket, badminton, hockey? Rajinder Pal, he belongs to Delhi Cricket Association, the very famous Delhi Cricket Association. He has given his services to cricket in Delhi. Okay, moving on to the next question of the day. Which, which has launched inside spacecraft to explore the insides of Mars? Inside spacecraft. ISRO, NASA, Roscosmos, China National Space Administration or SpaceX? Insight is a very recent current affair and very important one. So most of you say it's NASA. Yes, NASA is the right answer. It has also launched these missions. Mars Curiosity Rover, Maven and uh, in future, we have ExoMars 2020. It will be launched. It was launched by European Space Agency plus Russia, that is Roscosmos. This is ExoMars. Okay. India has MOM, that is Mangalyan, Mars Orbit and Orbiter Mission. Next, Google's philanthropic arm has announced how much amount in grants for teacher training and educational content creation in India. 1 million 3 7 10 15 so what could be the right answer yes 3 million is the right answer this was the amount announced by google's philanthropic arm 3 million okay moving on to next question what is india's growth rate in 2018 for as per asian development bank we have seen imf and world bank how much is the prediction for 1819 by asian development bank where is the headquarters of asian development bank it's in manila of philippines right So most of you say it's 7.3%, 7.3% is a right answer. World Bank was also predicted 7.3%, 7.4 IMF we have already seen. Next, who has won the famous ONV Literary Prize So what could be the right answer for this question? Yes. M. T. Vasudevan Nair is the right answer. He has won this famous ONV Literary Prize 2018. Next. The third edition of United Nations Peacekeeping Force for African Partners inaugurated on May 7, 2018 was held at which place? Hyderabad, Gauhati, New Delhi, Jaipur, none of these. See, whenever you study, you have to practice the questions. Then only you will know your position in the current affairs or any examination. Okay? You have to compete with others and know that where you are standing in that subject. Okay? So, what is the right answer for this question? New Delhi is the right answer. All the three sessions, first, second and third of this UN Peacekeeping Force for African Partners, was held in India only. All are in New Delhi. Okay. Moving on to next question. Which state government has launched Go, Vill Go to Village Mission? 
यूपी एमपी नागालैंड त्रिपुरा मणिपुर विच स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च गो टू विलेज मिशन हु इज गोइंग टू आंसर दिस फर्स्ट Debashish says Manipur. Yes, Manipur is the right answer. It has launched its Go to Village mission recently. Moving on to next question of the day. India is organizing a five-day cultural festival to commemorate 150th, 157th birth anniversary of Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. In which country is it? Bangladesh, Brazil, Germany, Egypt, or Nepal? Nobel laureate. He has received the famous Nobel for literature. This is the first Nobel for India in 1913. Okay. He is also the composer of national anthem of Bangladesh, Amar Sonar Bangla. Okay. During the Swadeshi movement against anti partition of Bengal. Sorry, partition of Bengal. So, which. So, most of you say option number. Four Egypt is the right answer. Five day cultural festival was held in Egypt. Next, Jagadish Muki has flown in as the acting governor of which state of Northeast? Jagadish Muki. So what is the right answer? Manipur. He is already the governor of Assam. Now he has given the acting governorship of Manipur. Okay. Next, who has been appointed as acting chief justice of Punjab and Haryana High Court? Geeta Mittal, A.K. Mittal, Ajit Singh, Ramesh Ranganathan, Sanjay Carroll. So what could be the right answer for this question? So most of you say it's A.K. Mittal. A.K. Mittal is the right answer. He has been appointed as the acting chief justice of Punjab and Haryana High Court. How many high courts are there in India? There are 24 high courts are there in India. Andaman and Nicobar comes under Kolkata High Court. Okay, Lakshadweep comes under Kerala High Court. Remember these. These are very important. Daman Diu, Dadra Nagar Haveli, Goa and Maharashtra come under Bombay High Court. Okay. And uh, Puducherry comes under Madras High Court. And for Punjab and Haryana we have this Punjab and Haryana High Court. Okay. Sorry, Puducherry comes under Madras High Court. Moving on to next question. Name the education institution that has joined hands with technology company Continental for Advanced Research in Machine Learning. IIT Bombay, Delhi, Kanpur, Madras, Bengaluru. So what could be the answer for this question? IIT Madras is the right answer for advanced research in machine learning. Technology company called Continental has tied up with it. Moving on to the next question of the day. 71st Keynes Film Festival is being held at which place? It was already held. It's in Germany, Australia, United States, France or none of these. So most of you say it's option number. Germany. Germany is the right answer. 71st Keynes Film Festival was held at Germany. Okay. Moving on to the next question of the day. So which of the following and IBM have signed a statement of intent to develop a crop yield production model using artificial intelligence? Is it Ministry of Agriculture, RBI, Niti Aayog, NABAD? None of these.
for providing real time advisory to farmers in aspirational districts. So if you know the aspirational districts, you will easily answer. It's Niti Aayog. The program of aspirational districts is of Niti Aayog. So Niti Aayog wants to develop 115 aspirational districts in the country. At least covering one district from 28 states. Okay. Okay. AP and Telangana was considered as one state at that time. Moving on to next question of the day. The Vibrant Northeast 2018. This program was held in which of the following places? So in me se Khidar Vibrant Northeast 2000 program. Vata. So what could be the answer for this question? So most of you say it's Gauhati of Assam. Assam of Gauhati. Vibrant Northeast 2018 summit was held in Gauhati of Assam. India has become the dash largest spender according to SIPRI report. I remind you this question was asked in SBI clerk examination or PO examination. Okay. In last year. And they have asked how much India spends also for the last time. Now what is the rank of India in spending capacity uh, in defense program? What could be the answer for this question? Fifth is the right answer. Okay, US is the first, China is second. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. What is the theme of World Press Freedom Day 2018? World Press Freedom Day. It is celebrated on May 3rd, right? And World Press Freedom Index is published by Reporters Without Borders. So most of you go with option number. For keeping power in check, media justice and rule of law. This is the right answer. Next, name the city that has hosted 4th Regional Conference on Futuristic Resilient and Digital Infrastructure of Asian Infrastructure and Investment Bank. Where is its headquarters? It's in Shanghai of China. Okay. So what is the answer for this question? So the right answer is Bengaluru. Bengaluru is the right answer. It was held in Bengaluru. Moving on to next question of the day. Who has led the Indian delegation to attend the 51st annual meeting of ADB? Arun Jaitley, Venkai Naidu, Urjit Patel, Shubhash Chandra Garg. None of these. So most of you say it's Shubhash Chandra Garg. He's a secretary in Ministry of Finance. He has attended this program. Next. Varuna is a giant, joint naval exercise between India and which of the following? UK, Australia, Indonesia, Norway, French or France. Who is going to answer this first? So most of you say it's French. Yes, France is the right answer. Varuna is between India and France. Okay, moving on to next one. Russian President Vladimir Putin has nominated who among the following? to be Russian Prime Minister. Okay, Putin has won for fourth time. Okay, remember this, fourth time he was, has won as the President of Russia. Now who has been taken over as the new Prime Minister? So what could be the answer for this question? 
Yes, Gregor Medvedev is the right answer. This is the right answer. He is a currently Russian Prime Minister. President is Vladimir Putin. Okay. Next. Which of the following is a China's first home-built aircraft carrier that has recently started sea trials? First, China's first home-built aircraft carrier. Which is ours? INS Virat. Okay. That is a home-built one. So, what is the right answer? Most of you say it's option number 4, type 001A. So, this is a China's first home-built aircraft carrier. Next. UNDP has proposed to set up skill development center in which India, Indian city to empower vulnerable and marginalized women. Is it Hyderabad, New Delhi, Chennai, Bengaluru or Kolkata? So what could be the answer for this question? Most of you say it's Hyderabad. Yes, Hyderabad is the right answer. It will be partner up, partnering up with Barossa centers in Hyderabad, especially established for women. Moving on to next question. Name the state that has made mandatory for the school students in the state to answer their roll call with Jai Hind. Is it West Bengal, Jammu and Kashmir, Haryana, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh? Who is going to answer this first? Name the state that has made mandatory for the school students to answer their roll call with Jai Hind. Sorry for the interruption. I have got a mobile call. Okay, don't worry about that. So what is the answer for this question? So most of you say it's Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. And it has also given some ministry post for religious people also. Hope you remember this. Five ministry posts. This is also from Madhya Pradesh. Moving on to next question of the day. Renault physicist Dr. E.C.G. Sudarshan has passed away recently. He hails from which state? Karnataka, Gujarat, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra. ECG Sudarshan So what is the right answer? Kerala is the right answer. This is a, he has he was nominated for Nobel Prize for 10 times sorry 9 times. He has proved the Newton's law wrong also. Okay, but his nomination was not considered nine times from India. Okay, he belongs to Kerala. The World Health Organization has launched which comprehensive plan to eliminate trans fat by 2023? Is it health, replace, change, trans health or zero trans? So very important question. Trans fats you find generally in uh, repeated cooked oils okay so most of you are saying it's replace replace is the right answer to eliminate trans fats world health organization has launched this program by 2023 where is the headquarters of world health organization 
it's in Geneva of Switzerland right moving on to next question of the day Ankit Chadha who has passed away recently he was a or an actor dancer singer storyteller politician be active in answering the questions everyone so what could be the answer for this question yes storyteller is the right answer Ankit Chadha belongs he is a storytelling person ok moving on to next question of the day who has scored Ireland's first test 100 in an international cricket recently against Pakistan is it Kevin O'Brien, Andy McBrain, Andrew Balbrain, Peter Chase or Niall O'Brien you have 5 seconds for each question Bunny Sajahan says storyteller. Yes, storyteller was the right answer. So, what could be the right answer for this question? Kevin O'Brien from Ireland. He has scored the Ireland's first test 100 in against Pakistan recently. And it was also won by Ireland team. The match. Next, which country to host the 2018 Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, that is BIMSTEC Summit? India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Myanmar. Okay, this is also current affair for today. Recent, uh, the BIMSTEC Summit dates were also announced but by that country in August. So, what is the right answer for this question? Nepal is the right answer. Recently when our Honorable Prime Minister has visited Nepal, this confirmation was given by Nepal to host BIMSTEC Summit 2018. Okay. Clear with this. Moving on to next question of the day. Who has been appointed as eminent jurist in the high profile Lokpal Selection Committee? P.P. Rao, Deepak Misra, Mukul Rohatgi, K.K. Venugopal or Ranjan Gogoi? Be fast in answering the questions. Yes, the right answer is Mukul Rohatgi, the former Attorney General of India. Who is the present Attorney General? The present Attorney General is K.K. Venugopal. The present CJA is Deepak Misra. Okay, the right answer for this question is Mukul Rohatgi. Moving on to next question. Name the China's top run bank that has launched country's first India dedicated publicly offered investment fund. So which China's, China's top bank has launched India's dedicated publicly offered investment fund? So what could be the right answer for this question? Yes, the right answer is Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. So it has launched this fund, India dedicated publicly offered investment fund. Okay, that will be used for investing in India's stock exchanges. Okay, next. Which intellectual property mascot, that is IP mascot has been launched at the conference on national intellectual property rights policy in New Delhi? IP Dadi, IP Neni, IP Nani or IP Dada or IP Pratyush? Intellectual property rights means the copyrights, trademarks, all these are called as intellectual property rights. Patents, trademarks, geographical indication tags, all these come under IPR. So the right answer is IP Nani. Okay. It is a tech savvy grandmother. Okay, IP Nani. Next, Samarth scheme was launched for capacity building in which of the following sectors? Is it tourism, engineering, textiles, power or IT? And I want to remind you from the daily current affairs of our talent sprint, two to three questions have come in recently UPSC prelims examination. What was that? We have mentioned about the barren islands, the only act 
active volcano of India and Pakke Tiger Reserve these two questions have come in UPSC prelims recently from our current affairs we have a column called learn to a day in our current affairs daily current affairs from these two these questions have come barren island is only al active volcano in India in Andaman Nicobar Islands Pakke Tiger Reserve is in Arunachal Pradesh okay this Pakke Tiger Reserve has won the best Tiger Reserve last year okay so what is the answer for this question Samarth scheme is for textiles Smriti Zibin Irani is a current minister for textiles right so Samarth scheme is for capacity building in textiles next first defense ship by private company what is that private company you have to tell me so the name of that ship is ICGS Vikram under made in, make in India was made by which of the following private companies LNT HSL Shalimar works Goa shipbuilders Bharati shipbuilders okay so the right answer for this question is LNT LNT is the right answer so LNT has built this first private company ship ICGS Vikram okay next name the country that has launched Goifen 5 a hyperspectral imaging satellite for comprehensive observation of atmosphere is it Russia India USA Brazil China so what could be the answer for this question Goifen 5 so the right answer is China is the right answer we have already seen app star 6c so whenever you study anything you have to relate app star 6c type 001 the first air built home built aircraft carrier and go fn5 so when you relate things it will be very easy see all these re belong to China next name the country that has witnessed highest number of internet shutdowns in 2018-17-18 according to a report by UNESCO England, India, China, Germany, Russia yes these bits are all useful for all the general awareness and general studies examinations wherever you find general studies these bits are very important whether it is groups examinations or whether it is UPSC whether it is banking exam or whether it is SSCGL everything is general awareness the ocean of learning general awareness I call it as ocean okay whatever will be everything will be a drop how much ever we learn it will be a drop in that ocean right so what's the answer for this question India is the right answer the maximum number of shutdowns has happened in India where is the headquarters of UNESCO Paris of France right next Reserve Bank of India has initiated prompt corrective action this is a very important abbreviation what does PCA stands for prompt corrective action against lender recently Dena Bank so how many banks at present are under PCA you have to tell me 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sir from where to study daily GA you can refer our current affairs from talent sprint you can also go through blog.talentsprint.com if you are a student on talent sprint you can find the current affairs section on our platform and also on blog.talentsprint.com so the right answer is 11 banks are under prompt corrective action this is a very important abbreviation PCA prompt corrective action against NPAs that is non-performing assets the bad loans or bad debt okay Dena Bank is in Mumbai yes right no Rohit and we have already done a session regarding how to remember headquarters also okay singer Mohit Chauhan nominated as green ambassador of which state Assam, Sikkim, Nagaland, Tripura, Meghalaya 
singer Mohit Chauhan was appointed as a green ambassador of which state? Yes, only Indian Bank and Vijaya Bank are not under this prompt corrective action. Yes, Amrita is right. So, singer Mohit Chauhan was appointed as a green ambassador. This question was also come yesterday in uh, UPSC, the organic state of India. This question was given is only Sikkim. Okay. Earlier it was A.R. Rahman. Now Mohit Chauhan was appointed as a green ambassador of Sikkim state. The only organic state of India. Everything is organic. They, you don't use fertilizers, pesticide. They use organic farming. Name the Indian armed force that has raised Bastaria battalion to combat Naxal activities. CRPF, SSB, Indian Army, CAPF, ITBP. So what could be the right answer? Yes, CRPF is the right answer. In Naxal's districts, CRPF will be posted. It is under Ministry of Home Affairs. Okay, moving on to next question of the day. Who has won presidential elections of Venezuela recently? Henry Falcon, Nicolas Maduro, Janus Adar, Victor Orban, none of these. Be fast in answering the questions because, because we have to take more questions. So the right answer is Nicolas Maduro. What is the capital of Venezuela? It's Caracas, right? And what is the currency? It's Venezuela, Bolivar, and it is a South American country, and it is part of OPEC also. OPEC consists of Organization for Petroleum Exporting Nations. Fourteen nations are in OPEC. Next, so India is the dash wealthiest country in the world with a total wealth of 8,230 billion US dollars according to Afro Asia Bank Global Wealth Migration Review. Is it third, fourth, fifth, sixth or seventh? Very important current affair. You have to also remember the wealth of India, 8,230 billion. Okay. So the right answer is sixth position is the right answer. First is US, second is China. Okay, sixth is India. Next question. Kishan Ganga project recently started by Narendra Modi on which river? Is it, it is on which river? Is it Jhelum, China, Bravi, BS, Satlaj? So what could be the right answer? Yes, Jhelum is the right answer. On Jhelum River, this Kishan Ganga project, Jhelum, these are all our tributaries of Indus from north to south. This is the order. Okay, Jhelum, China, Bravi, BS, and Satlaj. Next, who has been appointed as a chairman? Come. Director that is CMD of Coal India Limited, CIL. What is the right answer? So the right answer is Anil Kumar Jha is the right answer. Recently, Coal India Limited is opening its first thermal power plant. We will see that question later. Who has been appointed as the president of Hockey India? Rajinder Singh, Mariamma Koshi, Danpat Singh, Pargat Singh, PR Srijesh. Be active in answering the questions. Let's see who will win in this current affairs May 2018 battle. Yes, Rajinder Singh is the right answer. He has been appointed as the president of Hockey India. Next, which country has launched world's first floating nuclear power station? USA, China, Russia, Japan, India. World's first floating nuclear power station. Yes, Russia is the right answer. Russia has launched this first 
first floating nuclear power station next india's first national sports university will be coming up in which state is it assam uttar pradesh manipur sikkim haryana very important the first national sports university of india will be coming up in which state so who is going to answer this first yes priyadarshini says manipur vaishnavi rashekar shweta vishal kartik mahavir so most of you say it's manipur yes recently president ramnath kovin has said okay for the ordinance for first national sports university to be coming up in manipur who is the present chairman of press council of india press council of india we have seen pib right pib it's sitan shukar see pib is government body but pci is it is like an association like of journalists press council of india so the right answer is ck prasad ck prasad will be the present chairman of press council of india earlier also ck prasad he was extended for second term okay next which state government to launch free treatment scheme for road accident victims yes the right answer is gujarat gujarat is the right answer free treatment scheme for road accident victims next according to cms india corruption study 2018 which is the most corrupt state in india andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu punjab gujarat yes gujarat is the right answer for that question but for this question tamil nadu is the right answer first is tamil nadu second is telangana third is andhra pradesh fourth is gujarat so most corrupted state in terms of public services is tamil nadu second telangana third andhra pradesh fourth gujarat okay moving on to next question who was named as capital of england football team for world cup to be held in russia 2018 henry richard henry chris harry kane solomon rich chris stevenson so the right answer is harry kane harry kane is the right answer captain of england football team for world cup to be held in russia name the state that has signed an mou with spice jet merchandise to boost pineapple exports in the state nagaland manipur meghalaya tripura assam yes tripura is the right answer the most controversial cm biplav kumar dev or biplav dev is a cm right and the governor is tatagata roy next name the person who has become the youngest woman of the country to scale world's highest peak that is mount everest from nepal side it is about 8840 48 meters or 8.8 kilometers from nepal side it's shivangi patak is the right answer she has taken from nepal side okay and from tibet side it is malavat purna okay she was just 12 years old at that time who has been appointed as a regular chairman of lalit kala academy lalit kala academy for arts okay so what is the right answer uttam pacharne is the right answer he has become the regular chairman of lalit kala academy okay moving on to next question brics that is brazil russia india china is set to open its first america's regional office in which of the following is it brazil russia india china new york so 
So what could be the right answer? Bricks. So the right answer is Brazil. America's regional office of BRICS will be opened in Next, who has been elected as the Vice President of Badminton Asia Confederation? Which of the following has So what would be the answer for this question? Hemant Biswa Sharma is the right answer. He has been appointed as the Vice President of Badminton Asia Confederation and is also Chairman of for India. Okay. Clear with this. Moving on to next question. Who was named as Head Coach of Zimbabwe Cricket Team? So Head Coach of Zimbabwe Cricket Team recently. The right answer is Lal Chand Rajput is the right answer. Zimbabwe cricket team. Next, name the person who has been appointed as eminent jurist. So this question we have completed. Next, an emergency summit of Organization of Islamic Cooperation was recently held at. Is it Islamabad, Istanbul, Kabul, Riyadh, Addis Ababa? Still, we'll take 15 more minutes to complete the questions. Yes, the right answer is Istanbul of Turkey. This was held. Okay, OIC is a grouping of 57 members. This is the largest after United Nations. Its headquarters is at Jeddah of Saudi Arabia. Okay, next. Which country is hosting the first ever Shanghai Cooperation Regional Anti-Terrorist Structure? That is RATS against terrorism South Asian Cooperation Organization SCO it's a grouping of eight nations last year India and Pakistan have joined in the Astana summit in 2017 so the right answer is Pakistan this is also called as peace mission so there may be a question, where is Priest Mission 2018 held? It's in Pakistan only. Okay. Next. Which Bollywood personality has been honored by European Union for strengthening Europe-India ties? What could be the answer? For European Union, he has been strengthening European-India cultural ties. Where is the headquarters of Shanghai Cooperation Organization? It's in Beijing, okay? Don't think Shanghai, it's in Beijing. So the right answer for this question is Amitabh Bachchan is the right answer. He has received this award for strengthening Europe-India ties. Next, Ministry of Railways has organized one-day workshop mission Raftar regarding bullet train cleanliness, double the speed of freight trains, Wi-Fi in stations, ticketing app. Mission Raftar. Yes, to double the speed of freight trains, that is passing, sorry, freight trains. Most of 90% of the earnings of railways is from freight only, not from passengers. Okay, mission uh, 41K is also of Ministry of Railways to save 41,000 rupees in energy consumption. Okay, mission 25 ton also. Okay, so all these to carry 25 tons of freight. Next, Vikas Gowda has announced the retirement from which sports? Javelin throw, table tennis, weightlifting, chess, discus throw. 
Yes, Vikas Gowda recently has won the Commonwealth Games medal. The right answer is discuss throw is the right answer. Next, present national security advisor is Ajit Doval, SK Sinha, Pankat Saran, Ramesh Abhishek, Naveen Barma. What is freight train? Asked Ashwin. Ashwin, it is carrying the goods. Either it may be coal or anything. Petrol. Okay. Any good. So the right answer is Ajit Doval. So why it is in news? Because Pankat Seran was appointed as Deputy National Security Advisor. Okay, moving on to next question. Kamaljit Baba has become the first Indian to receive lineal medal in. Okay, lineal medal is given by UK. So he has become the first Indian to receive lineal medal in which are the following. So the right answer is botany. Okay, the study of plants he has received this medal. Next question. Pedro Sanchez has been appointed as a new Prime Minister of Chile, Peru, Portugal, Guatemala, Spain. So what could be the right answer for this question? Spain. Spain is the right answer. What is the capital of Spain? Madrid, right? And its currency is Euro. Recently, Catalonian crisis was also Catalan crisis. They want separate country, Catalonia people. That was also in Spain. Next, Prapti app was launched by which of the following? Ministry of Steel, Environment, Powers, Textiles, Agriculture and Cooperation. Yes, the right answer is power. For power distribution companies, this app was launched. Next, the book Straight Talk has been authored by which of the following personalities? Manmohan Singh, Venka Naidu, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, Jay Shashi Tarur, Jairam Ramesh. So be fast in answering. Someone was saying this question was asked in UPSC prelims. Very good. Regarding Spain. So the right answer is Abhishek Manu Singhvi the, from Congress. He has written this book recently. This was uh, launched by Venka and I do. Okay. This book was written by Abhishek Manu Singhvi from Congress. Coal India's first thermal power plant to be coming up in which state? Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha. So the right answer is Odisha. Okay. So generally it is owned by NTPC, all those people. For the first time it is CIL is opening, in, opening up in Odisha. Who is the present CMD? We have seen Anil Kumar Ja, right? So remember, don't forget the things. Next, India has signed a loan agreement of 21.7 million for strengthening public finance management in Rajasthan with which of the following? Envoys are also very important. The right answer is World Bank. The center has decided to set up a Brahmaputra study center at the cost of 28 crores in which university? Sikkim, Assam, Kolkata, Jaipur, Bhopal. So what could be the right answer? Brahmaputra study center. Brahmaputra originates in Tibet and moves through Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and then Bangladesh. It's called as Yarlang Sangpo. Yes, this is May current affairs. In the morning I have discussed for the talent sprint people, don't worry. Next, the right answer is Assam at IIT Gauhati. This would be established. Remember the money also, 28 crores for Brahmaputra Study Center. Next, who has been honored with Hero to Animals Award 2018? From People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA India. The right answer is Zubin Garg. Okay, Zubin Garg is the right answer. 
for uh, saving the animals near Kamakya temple in Assam. A very famous place, Kamakya temple near Assam, in Assam, okay. Next, Salimani National Park is located in Bid State. See, last year they have asked about Sultanpur National Park, not last year, in uh, SBI clerk in March. This was asked, okay. Sultanpur National Park is in Haryana. Where is Salimani National Park? We have it in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, we also have Dachigam National Park, uh, Hemis National Park, Tikse National Park. All these are in Jammu and Kashmir. The famous uh, Kashmir stag or Hangul, the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir is in Dachigam National Park. So which Union Ministry has signed uh, or launched online an analytical tool to monitor foreign contributions by various organizations under FCRA, that is Foreign Currency Regulation Act. That means to regulate funds to NGOs, who has launched this tool? So the right answer is Ministry of Home Affairs. Okay. Next, who has been appointed as the first ever Chief Financial Officer of Reserve Bank of India? This is a very important question. For the first time, RBI has taken up this decision to take up a CFO, Chief Financial Officer. So, what could be the right answer? Sudha Balakishnan is the right answer. She has been given this post, Chief Financial Officer for RBI. Next, who has been named as the emerging player of 2018 IPL? It's Sunil Narain, Rishabh Pant, Andrew Tai, Rashid Khan, Trent Bolt. Yes, the right answer is Rishabh Pant. Okay, moving on to next question. Who has been appointed as a new Prime Minister of Guinea? Yes, the right answer is Ibrahima. Kasori Fofona. Okay, the capital of Guinea is Konarki. And the currency is a franc, Guinea franc. It's a West African country. Next question. The first official World Bicycle Day is observed on which date? June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. June 3rd is the right answer. Hope you know today's date, that is World Environment Day, right? India is a host country with the theme Beat Plastic Pollution, right? Who has been appointed as interim PM of Pakistan till the general elections are over? What is the right answer? Interim Prime Minister, that is caretaking Prime Minister. Nasirul Mulk. Earlier it was Mahmud Khan Abbasi. For elections, it, the caretaking Prime Minister will be Nasirul Mulk till a new Prime Minister will come into place after the election results. Next, who has been appointed as a new DG of GSI, Geological Survey of India? It is under Ministry of Mines. So the right answer is Dinesh Gupta. Why I am giving you these many questions is, see if I give you only 50 questions, people will say questions have not come, right? So if I give you all the questions, important questions of the May month, so that it will be very useful to you. So have some patience and answer the questions and be active in answering the questions. Next, which city is set to host 2018 Global Wind Sim Summit? Paris, Glasgow, Hamburg, Sydney, Frankfurt. So the right answer is Hamburg of Germany. It will be held Global Wind Summit 2018. Next question. Which has signed MOU with the government to provide development support in Naxal hit districts in Chhattisgarh? Okay. So the right answer is 
Tata Trust is the right answer. It will be providing development support in Naxal Hill districts of Chhattisgarh. Next, who has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of, sorry, who has become the Prime Minister of Netherlands who has visited India recently? Nicolas Maduro, Mark Rutt, Mia Motley, Alpha Conde or none of these? So the right answer is Mark Rutt is the right answer. He has become the Prime Minister of Netherlands. He has visited India as a Prime Minister of Netherlands. Okay, the capital is Amsterdam and it's Euro, the currency. Next, Alan Bean, who has passed away recently, he was A or an. Scientist, magician, politician, astronaut or singer. Astronaut. Astronaut is the right answer. He is from USA. He is the fourth person to walk on moon. Okay. The first is Neil Armstrong. And the fourth person is Alan Bean. Important current affair. Next, name the current country that has clinched Uber Cup after 37 year wait. Is it Thailand, China, Australia, South Korea, Japan? Japan is the right answer. Uber Cup is for females and Thomas Cup is for males. These both are for badminton. Recently Thomas Cup was won by China and Uber Cup by Japan. Both are for badminton. Okay. Next question. Name the state government that has announced the scheme for providing life insurance of up to 5 lakhs per farmers in the state. So what could be the right answer? The right answer is Telangana is the right answer. LIC will be the implementing agency for this scheme. Next, Seva Boj Yojana, a new scheme was launched by which of the following ministries? So generally charities, So whenever they provide free food to the people, so if they buy goods, GST will be applicable. So this GST will be removed for these char charities, like we call langars in Hindi common kitchens yes ministry of culture has launched this program no gst will be applicable on these charities which are providing free food items next which has signed an agreement to promote green cricket in india with unep united nations environment program so what could be the right answer BCCI is the right answer. It has signed with UNEP. UNEP headquarters is at Nairobi of Kenya. And ICC headquarters is at Dubai. Next. Kumanam Rajshekaran was appointed as the governor of Manipur, Odisha, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Nagaland. In May, two governors were appointed. One was Kumanam Rajshekaran. So the right answer is... Mizoram. So for Mizoram, Kumanam Rajshekran. For Odisha, it was Ganeshi Lal. These two people were appointed. For Odisha, it is Ganeshi Lal. And for Kumanam Rajshekran, for Mizoram, it is Kumanam Rajshekran. Clear? Next, which has become the first Latin American to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, that is NATO? So NATO is a political and military alliance. It is a grouping of 49 countries. Recently Montenegro has joined. So they treat as attack on one country as attack on all and they will retaliate. So recently Colombia has become a partner. Okay, It is not a member but it is a partner. Next World Bank has allocated how much additional finance for Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana for rural roads. So you have to remember this amount, 500 million US dollars is the right answer. Which is the first country in Southeast Asian region to eliminate trachoma according to a declaration by WHO. 
trachoma it is an eye disease related to eyes so WHO has announced that it is free from trachoma what is that Nepal Nepal is the right answer next Patratu super thermal power project was launched by Narendra Modi ji recently in which state Jharkhand is the right answer Patratu super power project Jharkhand see even if you don't study if you see this current affairs session you can at least remember the answers and keep the answers whenever you see such type of questions so that's why you need to practice at least even if you don't know you have to go through sessions so that you will remember some answers next neighborly app was launched by which of the following yes it's google india it was launched in google in india by google next what is the present interest rate in employee provident fund given by employee provident fund organization under ministry of labor and employment santosh G kumar gangwar is a minister Eight point five five percent is the right answer. Current EPF interest rate is eight point five five. Next, recently India has signed an MOU with France in the field of. So last year there was in SBI, I think in Clerk, there was the what was the MOU signed by India in Youth Affairs, which of the country. So there may be questions on MOUs also. So here the right answer is renewable energy. With France, it has signed in the field of renewable energy. Okay. So cabinet has approved an in the MOU between which of the following India and Dash in the field of public sorry personal management and public administration. So the right answer is Singapore. Singapore is a right answer okay Singapore's capital is Singapore only and the currency is Singapore dollar next BRICS business forum leadership lifetime achievement award 2018 was given to which of the following I'm talking about SBA clerk in March was conducted in March BRICS business forum so BRICS is a grouping of five nations right you have seen BRICS America's regional office was opened in Brazil right so lifetime achievement award was given to Sri Devi okay the veteran access Sri Devi business forum leadership lifetime achieve achievement award was given to Sri Devi. Next, which country has become the 64th signatory member of International Solar Alliance? International Solar Alliance was signed in 2015 Paris Ag Climate Agreement, right? During Paris Climate Agreement, this was signed by the foremost countries India and France. Where is the headquarters of ISA? It's in Gurugram of Haryana, right? So who has become the 64th signatory member of International Solar Alliance? So signatory means actually we have 121 countries. But those who have signed is currently 64 only. Netherlands. Netherlands. Recently Netherlands PM has visited or not? So that is the right answer. Next, Niti Aayog has partnered to which of the following? To promote BEAM and Women Entrepreneurship Platform. So Amitabh Bachchan, Virat Kohli, Amir Khan, Hina Sidhu, Sudha, Shushan Singh, Rajput. So what could be the right answer? Shushan Singh Rajput is the right answer. He will be promoting those two platforms. Who has been appointed as MD and CEO of Airtel Payments Bank, the first payment bank in the country, Airtel. So the right answer is... Anubrata Biswas, the MD and CEO of Airtel Payments Bank. Next, which state has signed an MOU with Centers Griha Council for Green Buildings? To promote green buildings in that state. 
there will be eco friendly buildings it is maharashtra okay next question who has won the spanish grand prix 2018 yes lewis hamilton is the right answer he has won the spanish grand prix 2018 india and the world a history in nine cities sorry a history in nine stories exhibition was held in which city patna allahabad kolkata new delhi lucknow so new delhi is the right answer was held in new delhi next who has won the 2018 madrid open title women singles yes the right answer is petra kvitova who has won the male singles rafael nadal right so first consignment of 2 millions of adna crude from abu dhabi or uae was sent to which reserve of india recently dharmendra pradhan the minister for petroleum and natural gas minister for petroleum and natural gas dharmendra pradhan has opened this so the right answer is mangalore okay next 11th kalinga in institute of social sciences humanitarian award 2018 was given to which of the fo following members why i am so fast because we have so many questions it's already 1 hour 40 minutes right so the right answer is mohammad yunus mohammad yunus is nobel laureate winner from bangladesh okay in economics he has won this famous kalinga institute of social sciences humanitarian award next the state government that has launched invest support scheme for farmers that is telangana right or 5 lakh insurance scheme and also investment support scheme it is per acre 4000 rupees so they will be giving for 2 acres okay and for insurance it is lic next question shanghai cooperation tourism ministers conference was held at wuhan of china okay tourism ministers wuhan of china culture ministers sanya of china okay next who has flown in as malaysia seventh prime minister recently modi ji has also visited tun dr mathir mathir has won malaysia's seventh prime minister the capital is kuala lumpur and currency is ringgit next question who has topped the latest list of world's most powerful people 2018 so the right answer is xi jinping from china the president of china xi jinping modi was ranked 16th right next name the technology then that has announced 25 million dollars that is for artificial intelligence for accessibility to empower people with disabilities so the right answer is microsoft last year it has launched a project called project brain wave this is also for artificial intelligence only this is also by microsoft india next sebi has asked listed companies to have at least six independent directors including a woman with a deadline of april 1st 2018 by april 1st 2018 they must have six at least six independent directors including at least one person as woman next name the india's best performing state as per swachh sarvekshan 2018 so best performing state jharkhand is a best performing state and cities its indore is a first okay second is bhopal okay this is about cities 
and for states it is Jharkhand. Next, which railway station is the first in Northeast to become first to run completely on solar power? So the right answer is Gauhati railway station of Assam. It has become the first Northeast state to completely run on solar power. Next, who has been appointed the new chairman of NHAI, that is National Highway Authority of India? New chairman of NHAI. So the right answer is Yudhvir Singh Malik. Recently, Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of National Institute of Medically Handicapped and Research. Sorry, Mental Health and Research. So the right answer is Bhopal. Bhopal is the right answer. This NIMHR will be coming up in Bhopal. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved a corpus of setting up micro irrigation fund under Pradhan Mantri Krishi Shinchai Yojana. It will be under NABAD. Okay. How much is the amount under this micro irrigation fund? So it's 5000 crores is the right answer. Next, who has been chosen as 2018 Reading Award for Lifetime Achievement in Journalism? So the right answer is William Mark Tully of BBC, British Broadcasting, Broadcasting Corporation has taken this award. And Fane de Souza has won the Journalist of the Year Award. Okay, this is given by Mumbai based Reading Association. Okay. And Lifetime Achievement Award, William Mark Tully of BBC. Next, who has been honored with 2018 Nikkei Asia Prize in Japan? So the right answer is Bindeshwar Patak of Sulab International. He has won for cleanliness and clean India activities for his contributions. Next, wholesale price index based inflation for April 2018 is. Three point one eight percentage is the right answer. Wholesale price index for wholesale goods. Okay. The base year is both for CPI and WPI. The base year is 2011-12. That is financial year from 1st April 2011 to 31st March 2012. Who has been reelected as the chairman of ICC? The right answer is Sheshang Manohar. For the second term, he is elected as the chairman of ICC. Next, who, India has become the dash solar market in the world in 2017 as per Mercom Communications India. So the right answer is third, third largest solar market. India has become the third largest solar market. Name the bank that has launched Agenda 2525 for building women entrepreneurs. Very important current affairs. 2525, Agenda 2525. So the right answer is Yes Bank. For budding women entrepreneurships in India. Passport office, sorry, post office passport seva kendra run by all women team has begun operations in. It's in Punjab. Punjab is the right answer. All women team passport office was opened in Punjab. Which Indian American personality has become the first South Asian to be elected in Oregon in the West US state? So the right answer is Shushila Jaipal. She has become the first South Asian to be elected in Oregon, the West US state who has become the CF, CEO, that is Chief Executive Officer of Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. It comes under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. 
currently it's JP Nadda is the minister. So CEO of FSSI is PK Agarwal or Pawan Kumar Agarwal is the current CEO of FSSI. The world's second oldest rock has been discovered from which district of Odisha in India? It's Kendujuhar in this is the second oldest rock in the world. First is in Western Australia. Second is in India that is in Kendujar of Odisha. Dilip Turkey the, was appointed as Odisha Tourism Development Corporation chairman. He, is, he belongs to which sport? So the right answer is hockey. Okay, he was appointed as the chairman of Odisha Corporation. Raghuveer Singh, who has passed away recently, was a freedom fighter from which state? He was he has participated in the famous Azad Hind Faus or INA of Shubhash Chandra Bose, the Great. Okay, he is the last person to be alive from Azad Hind Faus. So the right answer is. Uttar Pradesh, Raghuveer Singh. He has participated in Azad Hind Fauz or INA. Next question. Name the country that has recently joined organization for prohibition of chemical weapons. So this organization will be working for prohibition of chemical weapons and India is also a member. So what is the right answer for this question? Palestine. Palestine is the right answer. It has joined recently. Next, who has won gold in women's 50 meter rifle prone event at ISSF, that is International Shooting Sports Federation World Cup? Dushyant, don't worry. So, what could be the answer for this question? So, most of you say it's Tejaswini Savan. She has won the gold in this 50 meter rifle prone event. She has also won in the Commonwealth Games. Niti Ayog has inked a pact to help the country regarding artificial intelligence. What is that? I think we have already seen this question. Yes, ABB India is the right answer. What is India's rank in terms of quality and accessibility of healthcare according to Lancet study? So the rank of India is 145th. This is the oldest organization regarding health. It is a journal, health journal. Lancet study. So India was ranked 145th. Name the football player who has recently won the European Golden Shoe for the fifth time. It is the famous Argentinian player Lionel Messi. Next, which is the regional, richest regional party as per Association of Democratic Reforms? So the richest party is Samajwadi party is the right answer. The first place, second place is for TDP and third place is for All India Anna Dravida Munnetra Kalagam. Second is for Telugu Desam party, first is Samajwadi party. Okay. Name the community exchange that has launched India's first option contracts on copper futures. So the right answer is generally Commodity Exchange of India, the only commodity exchange, the major one, MCX. Its headquarters is in Mumbai. It has launched the brass options, copper options. Okay. Name the digital payments company which has acquired the famous ticketing app called Ticket New. Pay, phone Pay, Thes, Paytm, Free Charge, or Book My Show. So the right answer is uh, Paytm. Next, name the all woman quiz novel ship which was written to go after 8 months. I think all will answer this. That is INSV Tarini. Okay, six member crew headed by Vartika Joshi. Okay. What is the theme of 2018 International Biodiversity Day? It is celebrated on 22nd May. Theme is celebrating 25 years of action of biodiversity. Right? Who will become the first female president of New York Stock Exchange? New York Stock Exchange is the largest stock exchange in the world. Oldest is 
Amsterdam Stock Exchange in Netherlands. Okay. Largest is New York Stock Exchange. So who will become the first female president? It is Stacey Cunningham. Name the institute that has set up its first kind of central energy regulation in the country regarding energy and power sector. So the right answer is IIT Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh is the right answer. Who has won the famous Formula Junior Racing Series 2018 championship? It was held in Coimbatore. He is a Coimbatore boy. So the right answer is Bala Prasad. Okay, he has won this Formula Junior Racing 2018 Championship. Next, who has been honored with West Bengal's highest civilian award, Banga Bibushan? Asha Bosley. Hope you remember PC Chandra Puraskar and uh, Swaramauli Awards also, right? So, Banga Bibushan was also given to Asha Bosley, who has won the famous prestigious 2018 Man Booker International Prize. It is given for fiction. It was won by Ola Togutsk. She is from Poland. Her book is Flights. The book name is Flights. So, for her fiction book Flights, she has won this Man Booker Prize. 2018. Which country has become the third to open its embassy in Jerusalem after US and Guatemala? So the right answer is Paraguay. So first is US, second is Guatemala and third is Paraguay. Right? Next, who has won the women's 2018 Italian Opens? Who has won the men's 2018 Italian Open title? So obviously the top number one presently, Rafael Nadal. Next, women's title, it's Elena Svitolonova for women's Italian Open title. Next, which country has won the fifth women's Asian Championship trophy? It is South Korea versus India. South Korea has won this fifth women's Asian Championship trophy in hockey. Okay. Next, which state government has announced or launched Nidan software for disease monitoring? So, what could be the answer? Rajasthan is the right answer. For road accidents, we have seen it's Gujarat, right? For disease monitoring, it is the software is Nidan by Rajasthan. MHRD has launched an integrated scheme for school education. What is that? It is Samagra Shiksha. Next, which of the following was conferred with Sankoba Humanitarian Award recently? So the right answer is Kailas Satyarthi and AS so our Nobel Peace Prize winner. And A.S. Kiran Kumar, former ISRO chairman, right? So successfully we have completed around 180 plus questions for May 2018. So how was your ex experience? Please let me know. Actually I was tired. Generally I take for one hour every time. Maximum of 100 questions. Now I have taken 180 plus questions. So please let me know your score for the May month current affairs. And thank you for your patience, all of you. It's been two hours. We have started at 4 o'clock. Now it's 6 o'clock. So my intention is to cover most of the questions. If I miss out questions, Again, you may say, sir has not told all these questions. No, not even one question has come from your session. So all the four weeks current affairs have combined and given you. So please let me know your score. Amrita says 121. So very good score. So how was the session? Hope you have enjoyed the session. And give a thumbs up and subscribe to Talent Sprint who have not done. We have also have a 
21 day marathon for SBI PO 2018. You can uh, go through talentsprint.com slash 21 day 21 day 21 day. Okay, we have a all India mock test on June 16th at 10 centers in India, right? You can apply for that and prepare well, take very good care of yourselves. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day.